Have you ever wondered where A-list celebrities train at? Well, I found it. When you start a new fitness journey, step one is always create a vision board. You fill it with the cutest gym outfits and the girls you aspire to be. And yes, December 31st every year I make one. And there's been a pattern the last few years and I've noticed one unique thing. This gym is in the background of every single photo. Hailey Bieber, dog pound. Justin Bieber, dog pound. Hugh Jackman, dog pound. Victoria's Secret models, dog pound. Aloe Yoga models, dog pound. So what's so special about this gym that it promises to turn me into an A-list model or a Marvel character? Let's find out. Step one, hop on a plane to LA. There's also a location in NYC, and that's the flagship smaller location. The LA one is the Big Bertha. Here she is, and I don't know why I find this so funny. It's across the street from Sir. <laughs> And I just majorly binged Vanderpump Rules last month. Dog pound? Sir. The weirdest thing about LA in the last few years is because reality television, the whole city is kind of a film set. So it feels fake. The whole city feels fake. I'm on a film set. Is this what this gym's gonna feel like? I have saved so many Pinterest photos of girls at this gym. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I feel these are actual celebs and I'm just a YouTuber. How much does it cost? Initiation fee, either $500 or $250, and an annual membership of either $8,000, $23,000, or you can get the initiation fee waived and pay $36,000 a year. It's more than my rent. That's if you even get in though, because yes, you need to apply and you need referrals. I didn't even need that for my job. <laughs> What could it possibly have to justify this price? Let's find out. You walk in, the most beautiful entrance, they know you by name. There's water, fancy waters you can grab. Even the front entrance that you would just chill and wait at is aesthetic. I wanted to take photos, I took photos. And then you walk in, first to the change room. Guys, they had a hyperbaric chamber. What? What? <laughs> Sauna, steam room, beautiful showers. I mean, it had it. It had it all, it made sense. I, it better have. I don't know why I'm surprised at that price. It, Goddamn better. Now, meet my trainer. That's the thing, it's all one-on-one -on -one sessions here. You're not just going in and training. Does she look familiar? That's because she's also the trainer on the Lululemon Studio app. The trainers themselves are celebrities. Two of the Dog Pound trainers came to House Concepts here in Vancouver just as like celebrity guests to train. She customized the workout perfectly towards what I needed. And there was any kind of equipment. There was hip thrust, because I mentioned I have weak glutes and APT. We worked on glute and core, and I just got enough of plane. So we worked on mobility, and it was completely customized towards me, and there was anything possible. Even, there's a basketball net. Guys, I gotta shoot hoops. Imagine that being my warm up every time. Just playing basketball. <laughs> We're doing a booty circuit now. Either side, you gonna drive in, kick back. This guy's really weak, specifically on the right side. I feel it in the booty, so that's all that matters. Woo! Spicy. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Nice. The hops are not gonna be good today. So you can go whatever direction you want to. Okay, like you say yes? So you're gonna straight leg here, top down. Silly guy. I noticed there's group training, so I also did a Pilates class. That was the thing, you can do everything you want here. You need your cardio, your weights, your personal training. You want group classes, they have it all in one place. Equipment they had, a boxing ring, countless weight machines, like leg curls, leg extensions, cable machines, concept rowers, turf to run and use sleds, every resistance band a booty builder could possibly want, a literal wall of medicine balls, not one, but several types of punching bags, and of course, fancy spots to take your selfies. And then yes, there's your dumbbells, mirrors, and basketball net, cause why the hell not? Onto the Pilates class. Less traditional classic Pilates and more of the Pilates we see on YouTube, which is a combination of body weight and small weight movements on a mat. Is it really Pilates? That's for another video. But it's what the general population thinks of Pilates now. The class only had four other people, which is not the heart pounding 30 people energy of a Barry's class I love, but it's gonna give you a lot more one-on-one -on -one personal attention to concentrate on form. So I just finished this workout. I'm gonna go into Air One because I feel that's a very Hailey Bieber thing to do. It was not what I expected. I went on Pinterest and wrote dog pound just to find photos to copy to use in the thumbnail. And I showed my trainer. I was like, I want to take a photo like this. It's like, oh yeah, that's blank. She's right there. I'm like, this is so awkward that I'm like, have this safe photo of this girl and I'm trying to recreate her photo as she's working out right there. And I was like, 
I feel like the biggest loser mm -hmm. on earth. But the workout was great. The vibe was awesome. There was definitely this one really young girl who I'm like, how can you afford to work out here? And I'm like, ah, nepotism. <laughs> Unbelievable gym. It was like what I expected, but I didn't feel as intimidated. Like I felt it wasn't just influencers and Victoria's Secret models, even though some definitely were. And there was one or two, dare I say, famous people, but I won't out them. I need to process my feelings. And you know how I'm gonna process them? Spending too much at Erwan and then complain about it. Now I pretty much hopped right off the plane to go to Dog Pound and I thought I'd give you guys a couple tips. My five travel hacks for having energy right when you land. Step one, as soon as you get to the hotel, stretch your foam roll. It is such a game changer and you don't wanna hear it and you don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to yoga, just like sit or, literally lay there and just kind of flop. You will just feel so much better. Two, cold therapy. You don't have to jump in a lake. You don't have to go get cryotherapy. You don't even have to get a cold shower. If you do any of those things, props to you, it will like, snap you out but what i do is i just go get some ice cubes every hotel has them and i just ice my face and my neck be gentle because you can definitely burn it's not like the best thing in the world for your skin but just depuffs my face and just perfect little zap of energy three obviously hydrate on the plane i drink an entire water bottle at least no matter how long my flight is and i also add electrolytes into it my favorite electrolyte is element because of its perfect ratio it's got a thousand milligrams of sodium 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium i'm so annoyed of how much the fitness industry has demonized salt for all these years because having proper electrolytes helps with headaches muscle cramps fatigue which are such common effects of electrolyte imbalances it can be used by everyone, but even people in the NBA, NHL, NFL, and Olympic athletes use it. It's safe enough to use by people that are drug tested like professional athletes, so you know you're in good hands. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with their order. It's a great way to try all eight of their flavors or share it with a salty friend. Get yours at drinklmnt.com slash Kelty. This deal is only available through my link. That is D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T.com slash Kelty. Number four, time my caffeine to the zone I'm gonna be in. I'm either scaling my caffeine back or scaling a little forward a couple days leading up. As soon as I hop on that plane, I'm gonna try and think, oh, I usually have a coffee around 8 a.m. I have a coffee at 8 a.m. in the location I'm going. And number five, as soon as I get there, you do your stretch, foam roll, go get sunlight. The sunlight will help get you in the right time zone that you're going to, and also just that fresh air will help getting the blood moving. I always find I have like no part of me wants to do it. As soon as I do it, I'm like, ah, this is the solution. Back to this video. Wow. Wow, LA, just full of wonders. I figured if I'm gonna train like a celeb, may as well have a coffee and breakfast where Hailey Bieber and Drake have been spotted. First, a cappuccino from Community Grounds. It's 110 Fahrenheit, a and I still got a hot dog. Then hit up a classic LA spot, Earth Cafe, which is very close to Dog Pound, and I've seen countless celebrity paparazzi photos here, so I figured this is likely a classic go-to post-workout breakfast slash lunch spot. I got a veggie omelet, iced coffee, come at me. I know this is my second coffee in an hour, but guess what, this is for science. This is for YouTube, this is for you guys. That's called excuse. <laughs> and of course my favorite, bread and butter. So final thoughts. No, this gym did not turn me into Hailey Bieber or a Marvel character, but it definitely could. Every trainer knew every person by name. Every, even if it wasn't their client, they walk in, they're like, hey, Bob, hey, Smith, hey, Matt, hey, Martha, Kennedy, go drink some water. But it wasn't like Equinox or Planet Fitness where, yeah, occasionally they'll get to know you. I mean, they knew everybody. It gives me the vibe that if I didn't show up on a Tuesday at 6 a.m. when I usually am, they're calling me out. When you're training to be a Marvel character, I'm sure you want that level of accountability. Versus if I don't show up for two months at Equinox, no one's noticing. <laughs> or maybe they do. It'd be kind of nice. But I think that's because I did an expose video on them. <laughs> so they're probably happy I'm gone. What makes it special is the personalization, the state-of-the-art equipment, the lack of annoying people trying to take selfies with you the whole time, the high-quality trainers that you could tell specialized in exactly what actors and models need. Like, I definitely get the vibe that they come in and like, hey, Bob, this year I am being Aquaman. And he's like, hey, here's what we do. And lastly, it is aesthetic AF for all those celebrities 
much needed. Instagrams and TikToks. Would I go here if I had the money? Absolutely. Do I have the money? No, but it was really fun for a day and I wish I lived in LA and could go to this too because it was beautiful. Everything, I, want just, I just want to take selfies the whole time, but that's probably not good. I just want, I could go play basketball. I get stretched out. It was amazing. And I think it's really good, it's a lot of money, so I don't go in there bothering Hailey Bieber because I would just sit there and be like, Anyways, comment down below any other gyms you guys would like me to sneak in and see the behind the scenes. And sometimes I, I'm just calling this like going undercover right now just to have a series cohesion. I guess I'm not really going undercover. I mean, I just kind of was like, yeah, we're making a video. But you know, if you have an alternative name for this series, let me know. I just think it's fun to go undercover and expose what it's really like. Hard hitting journalism you came for. <laughs> have a great day, go pet dog. Love you guys, bye.